The numeric data which is to be processed in a computer is usually written out on a card data form before being punched onto a computer card. The printed figures along the top of the card are not read by the computer, which instead scans each vertical column for punched holes. Thus, the number three in the first column is represented by a rectangular hole punched in row number three. Similarly with the other numbers punched one per column. Decimal points are represented by multiple punching in the same column. Multiple punching in the same column is also utilized to represent alphabetic characters. Here we see a typical Fortran coding form and a Fortran punched card. The Y, for example, is represented by holes punched in two different rows. It is not at all necessary to learn the code in order to operate a card punch. We will use the 029 and some typical card punching operations. Firstly, the wall switch and the instrument switch are turned on. The card punch keyboard is similar to a typewriter keyboard but uses the lower case for alphabetic characters and the upper case for numbers and special characters. Numbers are obtained by holding down the numeric key. Before operation, the machine is cleared by hitting the clear switch. The other switches are usually turned on. The star wheels are lifted off the program drum. Cards are placed in the input hopper and are fed into the machine by pressing the feed key twice. The data are then punched on a card. The card is released and further cards are punched. At the end of the punching, the cards are released by hitting the clear switch. A punched card produced by this operation is now used to demonstrate the duplication facility. The card is placed in the read station and a blank card is fed into the punch station. The dupe key is then depressed. After pressing the release key and the clear switch, the original card and its duplicate can be superimposed to ensure that the duplication has produced an accurate copy. Cards can be backspaced by up to five columns when necessary. Sometimes, due to erroneous handling, the keyboard locks. To correct this condition, the error reset key is depressed, after which punching can be commenced. The multi-punch key is used to hold a card at the same column when multiple punching is required, as in the end of file card. The 026 card punch is an earlier version of the 029. The on switch is in a different position and as there is no clear switch on the 026, the release and register keys are used to remove cards. Similarly, as there is no error reset key, the backspace button is used for releasing a locked keyboard.